Say hi, Valentina. Hi. What day is it today? Pizza day. Pizza day. Today is pizza day. I promised my daughter that every week we're going to have a pizza day. And today is her day. We're having pizza. Are you excited? Yeah. What is your pizza going to have in it? Pepperoni and cheese. Yummy. Well, let's get started. So first, I have the oven set at 425. I That's the temperature we need for the pizza. And I'm going to do my ricotta spinach spread. I don't use tomato sauce on my pizza. I don't like it. So I actually don't like pizza that much. Uh, but I do like the one I make because it has no tomato sauce in it. And it's very light and yummy. So I'm going to first saute with a little bit of olive oil some spinach. Mm -hmm. And we put a little bit of garlic. That's just dehydrated chopped garlic. And this is a little bit of garlic salt. And chili flakes, of course. So I'm going to just saute these a little bit. And then add the ricotta. So I added about half a cup of ricotta cheese to the spinach mixture. And once it's all combined, I'm going to turn it off and let it cool a little bit before I put it on the pizza dough. So we have our dough stretched out. That's Valentina's. Yes, that's my pizza pan because uh, I only have one, one flat tray. So that's going to have to do it for now. The cake pan is going to work. I have the ricotta spinach spread, which we're going to put at the bottom of it. Yummy. Just a little bit for Valentina because she's not a big fan of spinach. She's going to love them today. Right, Valentina? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy spinach. So spinach and ricotta on mine. Spread is on. And now I'm going to add my fresh tomato. This is going to be a fresh tomato, mozzarella, and basil pizza. But the basil, we add it until the very last minute. Or actually, till you get it out. You want the uh, basil to be still fresh and green. There goes the mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella, yummy. Lots of it. Yeah. This is not the healthiest dish, but it's enough, super Mommy. delicious. And that's enough. Valentina's. You think that's enough pepperoni? Okay, that works for me. And so that's it. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of salt, garlic, pepper to the tomatoes on top of it and put it in the oven at 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And voila, here's my pizza ready. I just added the fresh basil and um, sunflower seed sprouts, a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette, or not vinaigrette, balsamic oil. Oops, just a little bit. I like it a lot, so. There you go. And a little bit of olive oil. Just like that. There a little bit. And it's ready to be eaten. It looks so yummy. Mm -mm. 